As we find out more details about the death of Julio Fulio, it's almost certain and for sure that the people responsible for Julio Fulio's murder are the dumbest set of criminals I've ever seen. It's literally ridiculous like how stupid these people are. So we five know so people far was indeed arrested, arrested for the murder, for the murder, of murder of Fulio, Isaiah Chan, and Alicia these are the five Andrew people Sean here. Right, and then you have the Murphy siblings, who are the two stubby dark skinned dudes on the left. The first dummy on the list is Isaiah Chance, aka Gutta Zay, who only a few days after Fulio's murder, when you know police was looking for any type of leads and evidence to anybody who could be involved, would go on a Twitter space and allude. At potentially catching a big fish, aka just dropping one of the biggest ops. Vaughn, I was 1700. I'm too f up. You got bigger fish to fry. You with the fish? No, I'm not. <laughs> mm -mm. I just twisted that bit so bro. So I don't got no fish to fry. I done threw my big ass net out there. And... Yeah, man. Come on now. Keep talking. Hello. Keep talking for FBI. Yeah, <laughs> <Hell bye. laughs> Hey, Stra, you a Informant, cuz I swear to God, God, you a farmer. I don't got no fish to fry. I done threw my biggest net out there and already caught my biggest fish. Yo, one of his homies is telling him, Yo, bro, like you may think you're smart enough, like you may think you're speaking in code that nobody can understand you. Bro, if some Reddit dweebs know exactly what you're talking about, the fans know what you're talking about, the police know what you're talking about. And the active detectives who was watching and monitoring all of Fulio Ops at this moment knows what you're talking about, right? But these dudes will commit crimes and, yo, is they're just excited and eager for people to know they did it, right? Is they will go out of their way to throw some type of hints there to have the streets know, oh, gee, hey, bro, listen, yo, like, I heard Gutter Zay did this, man, I... Because according to them, bro, listen, the crime don't matter unless the streets know you did it. The crime don't matter unless the baddies know you did it, bro. What good is a body if the baddies don't know you tough? Well, they know you tough now because you locked up behind bars, right? Now, the other dummy is Sean Garthright. Now, this dude, listen, like, simply put, is the stupidest criminal I've ever heard of. The stupidest one I've ever in my life heard of, right? So this dude apparently wasn't just responsible for Fulio's murder as one of the shooters because Gutter Gay was the getaway driver, right? Garth Wright was one of the shooters. Now, he wasn't just responsible for Fulio's murder, but you know a few months back when Fulio got shot in the foot and you know there was rumors that he would have his foot amputated? Well, Garth Wright was also responsible for that. Real shit, do not mind the way my toes look. I can't wash my feet. Flip it right now, but look, look, ain't God good? I can move my toes. I ain't God good, boy. And I can feel them, bitch. Uh, I I just said, don't mind my toenails, y'all. Know my foot fucked up and shot. I can't touch, like, really. I don't even want to be fucked with my toes right now. Drop blood, all type of shit. Stop saying cut your toenails. I just said, don't mind my... I'm trying to show y'all my progress. Y'all making jokes about my long toenails. I know I got a chopper clip on my foot, because it's going to get cut once the doctor says I can cut it. Oh, bro. <laughs> This kid was 17 years old at the time of the shooting that took Julio Fulio's foot. But here's the thing. We can pinpoint a motive for all the other suspects for why they got beef with Fulio. This kid was a cameraman. Like, he was, you know, who shot music videos. There's no real motive for why he wanted to kill Fulio. And what makes this even weirder is that not only was he involved in Fulio's murder, but he was involved in the shooting of Fulio's foot. <laughs> like... So this dude was literally hunting Fulio down for what would appear to be absolutely no reason. Because there's no history of them beefing. He like, and this kid don't have any type of real gang affiliations. Like, we can't pinpoint if he's 1200 or ATK or NHG. We don't know. So it's weird. But what's even dumber than getting involved and being used as a crash dummy in a beef you got nothing to do with? 
is using your mama's car to do a drill. So this kid drove his mama car all the way to Tampa to kill Fulio. Now, using your mama car and not covering the license plate number is dumb, stupid, right? It, 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 you know, it's, it's, the, it's the stupidest thing a criminal could do, not covering up a license plate. Now, if it's a stolen car, understood, who cares? But not covering up the license plates of a murder getaway vehicle that's in your mama's name when... Yo, if the cop contact your mom and said, oh, oh no, my son had that car that night. Okay, they, you <laughs> caught out of here. But what's even dumber than that is what exactly the police found inside of his mama's vehicle. This kid, this dumb dumb, not only took his mama's vehicle to do a drill and didn't cover up the license plate number, but he still had shell cases. From the night that he popped Julio Fulio in the foot, he still has shell cases in that vehicle that ties him to the shooting of Julio Fulio's foot, as well as shell casings in the shooting of another murder in May of 2024. So this kid, listen, this light-skinned nigga right here, bro, I thought he was John Wick. Yo, he was moving around this city, bro, like he was John Wick, bro. It's not out of the realm of possibility that this kid may have just been like a hired assassin, right? Like a paid shooter because he had another shooting in Mississippi not too long ago. So this kid was literally just going around just shooting, right? Like as if there was no consequences for it. I mean, if you got away with shooting Fulio in the foot and then you apparently got away with another murder in May of 2024, maybe that's why you was going around just, just being reckless because you probably thought, Bro, I'm too good with this. Feel me? They would never catch me. I don't get caught. If you think he's stupid, just hold on to your seats, bro. Let me tell you about the other suspect, Rashad Murphy. Now, I will think one of, I guess, the perks of driving to Tampa for a body is that you could do the body, drive back to Jacksonville the same night, set up an alibi that can put you in Jacksonville, right, for the entire night and say, bro, I was never in Tampa. I'm not from Tampa. But apparently Rashad Murphy is new to doing crime or drills because Rashad Murphy did possibly the dumbest thing ever. He put himself in Tampa that night near the crime scene. And you know how he did so? He booked an Airbnb about a mile away from the Holiday Inn in where they killed Fulio at. On his persons, they located a screenshot of an Airbnb rental confirmation, which was taken which read, hello, Rashad, and thanks for your reservation. The confirmation text in the Airbnb related that per the HOA policy, the renter needed to submit a photo of a valid ID. So they also located the screenshot, all right, or the picture of Rashad Murphy's Florida ID. Now, apparently the Airbnb was booked under the name of defendant Rashad Murphy and the Airbnb was a townhouse 1.3 miles away from the homicide scene. The Airbnb was booked from June 22nd to the 24th. This was proven to be the Airbnb the defendants stayed at during their time in Tampa. The Airbnb was equipped with a rain camera at the front door at approximately 1955 hours on June 22nd, 2024, Defendant Alicia Andrews can be seen ringing the doorbell and entering via the front door. Then after the homicide, after they caught the body, they didn't just dip off and go back home to Jacksonville. They actually went back to the Tampa Airbnb. And they were also caught on camera at the Airbnb as well. After the homicide, wearing similar clothing as they was wearing <laughs> At the homicide scene. Nah, yo, these dudes are the dumbest criminals I've never seen. Now, I expected the woman to be a tad bit smarter, right? I expected the chick, Alicia Andrews, to at least not have made the same mistakes these dudes have made, right? But nah, she's even dumber, right? Because apparently she was in a music video with Young and Ace mocking Fulio's death two weeks ago. As for Alicia Andrews, there she goes right here. In a Young and Ace music video two weeks ago. Car ready to die. Where Young and Ace is making a mockery out of Julio Fulio's murder. Making a mockery, taunting him and laughing at him. And she knowing she's one of the suspects and she's in the music video. Behind the car and play something. 
Oh, oh, oh my God, man. For real, for real, and now I for real, for real. Oh my God, man. These people think life is a game and they're going to outsmart the police. Listen, wake up call. You're not that smart. Like, you're not going to outsmart detectives and the FBI and ATF and local police, bro. You're not going to do it. Now, what makes her, her celebrating the death of Fulio in Young and A's video even much more ironic and stupid is because when she got caught, well, she started snitching and telling from the very get-go trying to play the card of, oh, I was young, naive. I didn't know what was going on. I was just there. I didn't even know what was going on. No, you celebrated death of Fulio. You one of the ops. You knew what was going on because afterwards you ain't feel bad about it. You ain't feel no remorse. You actually is celebrating his death in a music video. Oh, she is snitching with precise accuracy. Alicia Andrews provided a post Miranda statement where she identified herself in all the footage she was seen in and identified Isaiah Chance, aka Gutta Zay, as the male driving the suspect's vehicle, the Silver Cruise, while it was tracked in the victim's movement. So, so Gutta Zay and her was in one vehicle and they pretty much tracked Fulio the entire night. And after they got Fulio to the Holiday Inn now, that's when, you know, Sean Gathright and the Murphy siblings, that's when they pulled up as well, and they all conspired to shoot and kill Fulio. So Andrews, Alicia Andrews, admitted to allowing Isaiah Chance to use her phone while he communicated with Sean Gathright. Alicia Andrews denied knowledge of this homicide and was caught lying multiple times during her interview. Oh, my. Yo, if you're going to snitch, at least be honest while snitching, homie. All right. Uh, Andrews related she was only at Teasers and Truth 18 because she and Chance were thinking of going to party there. Andrews related she and Chance went up to the front doors of both clubs to ask how much it was to get in. However, that was proven to be a lie via the continuous video surveillance camera, the front doors of both clubs. Andrews even admitted to her and Chance being in the cruise at the homicide scene. However, claimed they were just lost and were turning around in the parking lot, denying knowing the victims were there. Sean Gathright's phone was the most active phone in the Apollo. It also travels down from Jacksonville at the same time as the others. Gathright's phone is in the vicinity of his house when he, oh my God. First off, if you're going to cooperate and snitch, you can't just self-snitch on yourself like that and still piss off the police. You got to snitch when a deal is in front of you. You got to cooperate, homie. Right? But you trying to be slick talking about, hey, listen. Oh, we were only at every location Fulio was at. Oh, because we were just interested in partying at the same spots. Oh, we was also at the Holiday Inn where Fulio was killed at while everybody else was there. Oh, we just got lost and we just turned around in the parking lot. Oh, we was communicating with Sean Garthard, but I didn't know why he was calling the shooters while we was in a vehicle. I had no idea he was calling the shooters while we was in the vehicle. Oh, my. And she's saying all of this post-Miranda without any representation there and no deal on the table. So she essentially just effed herself over for absolutely no reason because she's also going to do life. Like, she's also going to go down. Unless she just turned full cooperative, right, and start taking a stand. But from what I just seen here, bro, oh, they don't even need her to take the stand. She already said it all. This is, oh, my God. Yeah, listen, man. Don't make these mistakes, all right, if you're going to do something this dumb. One, don't take your mama vehicle and leave the license plates uncovered. Two, don't book an Airbnb that puts you at the location with all the shooters and all the suspects of a homicide in the same house, wearing the same clothing. Three, don't make statements, post a shooting on social media that's going, that's going to incriminate you. Four, the least you can do, right, is clean out your vehicle of all shell casings and evidence that could link and tie you to a possible motive for why you could be a suspect in this murder. Those were the four mistakes the killers of Julio Fulio made that ultimately got them caught up. Y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think, all right? And if you're still watching, click on this video somewhere on my screen to find out how this hood booger hood rat career is over 
after being exposed by Tasha K mid-interview. Click on this video here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.